Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingAndPerfection.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have some envelope ideas that I want to share with you. I think it's kind of fun to create envelopes that coordinate with cards that you're making. And I've been taking a fun envelope decorating class through Altenew Academy, which is a great place to take classes for less than $10. You can take all kinds of classes there, and this is one I'm I have just finished taking. So I wanted to share a couple of my ideas of things I interpreted. I'm using that modern deer card that I shared with you in a video a few days ago. I just got a set of Altenew envelopes that were sold as a bundle with this envelope liner die set. Look at all the dies you get in this set. And uh, they sold it as a bundle and then they, they also had um, just released this beautiful paper, this pattern paper. This is two-sided, six by six inch pattern paper. It's eight, actually 80 pound cardstock, so it's good heavy paper actually for the inside of an envelope. So I chose a piece that I think looks like falling snow because I'm trying to coordinate it with that deer, that modern deer card that I shared with you a couple of days ago. So I cut a piece of this out and I really like it because it actually scores right where the fold is going to go. So you can fold that over. And um, if you have a smaller piece of paper that you want to use, it's not quite long enough, just make sure you do cut out the top part of that so the flap is covered. This modern deer stamp set is actually a great winter stamp set. This is a stamp set you can use all year long. It doesn't have to just be saved for Christmas. I created a fall card out of it. so. I, you, know, you can see I, I stamped an extra deer image and I have the die cut piece. I don't throw those out because I often find uses for stuff like that. I've also cut a few, uh, a mask of each one of the die coordinating dies because that stamp set has a coordinating die set. And I'll save all of these things. I store my stamps and dies together in these really nice plastic sleeves from Avery L. and my favorite thing stamps those are usually where I get them from although you can get them from a lot of different places so the mass what the mass that I created I'm gonna be able to use multiple times they're they're created with this Inka Dinka Do mask stamping paper and it's just great paper it's, it comes with 12 sheets in a package and it lasts forever because you only really need a small piece so you've got the rest of the piece to keep using now i also have these puffy letters that i got for free when i purchased the envelope and die bundle and the pattern papers altenew sent me uh, was one of their promotions they sent this set of puffy alphabet stickers so i'm actually going to use these on the the envelope i actually think that's pretty fun so I'm just going to put these masks, I peel off the backing paper and stick them to the envelope. Now I pulled in a cardboard box and I'm going to use one of Altenew's ink sprays. I really love their ink sprays. You always give them a good shake. I do it in a box because I'm a bit messy. And I'm just going to give it a few spritzes. And you can see I get a variety of sizes there. And I'm holding it really quite a ways up. I'm holding it probably a good eight inches. And I love this effect. It looks like snow. It came out exactly like I wanted. You can see I have a couple of stencils on the side. I am putting those away. I do not need those. It came out just the way I wanted it to. So while that's drying, I'm pulling out a template I have. This is just like a two inch by 11 inch piece of what is probably an overhead projector sheet or you could use a window sheet, but it's probably something I had from back in the day when I um, was using overhead projectors in my classroom because that was cutting edge, tech edge technology. So here I have my Tim Holtz ideology ruler and I love this ruler. I love two things about it. One of the sides is beveled and it's also got one side marked where it's got a zero mark. So I created that template and it's probably a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. Each line is like an eighth to a quarter of an inch from the other line. And then I marked the center and I love to use this to actually line up my sticky letters. So I use this a lot for scrapbooking. And I have this little tool from Creative Memories that I use all the time just to, I've had this forever. This is like 25 years old, this tool. And I just use it to lift the letters off 
and the letters can just temporarily stick to the top of it. And you can see I've got the center marked there. And I'm just checking to see they're about an eighth of an inch apart. It's really one centimeter. Like the top one is one centimeter from the edge. Then the second one is not one centimeter, I'm sorry, it's a quarter of a centimeter. And then uh, a half a centimeter and then three quarters of a centimeter. But um, so about an eighth to a quarter up spacing. So I've also marked the center and I'm going to start with the letter A. I'm going to make the word peace. So A is my center letter. I've got that line that's marking the center of that paper so I can easily line these up. Now these are kind of wonky letters. They're weird shapes and they aren't all the same size, so I'm just going to kind of line them up with that second line. These, I have three lines on there because I have some sticky letters that are pretty small. So that first top line right along the edge is perfect for those. But these are good size letters, so I'm using that second line. And I have some that are even bigger that that third line is for. And the point of this is that they hang off that plastic template. This is just one template I have in my stash of template tools that I've created to make things easier. So I've got them lined up and they hang off probably two thirds of that. Those letters are hanging off the edge. I just use that template to line them up. So I'm checking my envelope to make sure they're dry and then I decide, you know, I forgot I, I want to put some metallic spray on because Altenew has this antique silver metallic spray that is just so pretty. So I just want to have a little shine. I feel like every project should have some sparkle and shine. So I spray that on and I'm going to spray a little more white, not a little more silver, just kind of layering them together. And I'm really liking the way this looks. And again, I just want to you know, share with you that if you use these ink sprays, you want to right away wipe the the spray nozzle off with a baby wipe to keep them from clogging. So if you do that right after you use them, then you can keep those from clogging and you don't ever have to worry about that. So just take care of your ink sprays. And Altenew sells them. You can get the ink sprays separately. You can get the whole bundle of ink sprays or you can get a couple of ink sprays in a bundle with um, they usually bundle them with stencils which is pretty fun so I'm removing the um, masking paper and I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna save that masking paper because that is sticky enough to continue using and I love the way the outline of those deer came out there I'm really happy with this so now I'm just pulling out a piece of grid paper and I'm lining the envelope up and now I'm going to line my template line with a line on the grid paper and basically just push down the top of those letters once I get this lined up. I'm just really fussing with it. And so I'll line it up and I'll push down the top of the letters and then I will just peel out the um, plastic from below that. I'll just turn it and just hold the letters down while I peel it out so I don't have to like re-stick them. So I'm just pushing them all down when I get that plastic out. And that template is a beautiful thing. So I love the way it looks. I've got lots of shine on there. Now I'm going to tuck the, um, the liner in. And I'm going to fold the liner over. And, you know, make sure it's creased well. I'm going to put some adhesive on the liner. And then I'm going to fold the top down on top of that. So it's it closes nicely. It's, it's, that's the easiest way to do it. And then I decide, I have a brainstorm and decide that I'd like those deer to have a little bit of detail. And this particular stamp set is really a layering stamp set. So I pull out my Misty and I'm a little bit out of the shot here. But I'm there's a stamp set that lines up where the eyes and the nose and then a little bit, a little line along the back of the deer. So I pull that out and I'm just fussing with it with my Misty. But I'm actually going to do one little trick here to line this up. So I have another template. This is again a window sheet or an overhead transparency. Um, 
you can actually take a clear sheet out of a package of something that you purchase. And you can see I have two lines on this. I use this for the same kind of thing. This particular one lines up die cuts on um, my cards when I'm trying to put a word together on a card and I need to line things up. But I put that transparency over top of my envelope. And now I'm just using some dye ink to stamp the stuff that I've lined up to see if I've actually got it lined up. And I can wipe the ink off the transparency and I don't actually have it lined up very well. So I can fuss with it without actually damaging the project so far. So I really like having this little template. Like it serves as a surface I can wipe off and just kind of test things out. And the second time I do it, I realize that this is lined up exactly the way I need it and I can go ahead and actually stamp that detail on with, I'm going to use Altenews Permanent Black Ink. See how pretty that is? And then I'll just clean that off and ink it up with the Permanent Black Ink. Now that Permanent Black Ink will, stamp, it will stain my stamps, but I'm not too worried about it. I just want a little detail here. And then the other detail I'm going to add is I'm going to pull out my gel pen. I have a white gel pen and I'm going to add some dots to the back of those two deer. And I can look at the stamp set that, see I pull the stamp set out to kind of look and gauge where those dots are. And I'm just going to add some of that detail because I think that's actually kind of fun. Kind of com sort of completes the deer. They're still mostly silhouette, but I really like the way this envelope turned out and how it coordinates with that card that I created. So I have a really nice little set there. Now this isn't one that I could send in the mail unless I tucked it into another envelope. So for my second one, I want to make a fall set. So I've pulled out the um, Alta News fall stamp set called With Gratitude, and it's a stamp set with a coordinating set of dies. Again, I'm pulling out the paper that I got here, the pattern paper, and I'm going to choose one. I've got three different choices, and I'm just trying to see what's on the back because the, the, like the yellow dots don't all have the same thing on the back. And I, I'm kind of leaning toward those yellow dots, so I'm going to pull out an orange envelope because I want to use fall colors. And I like the flowers on the inside because I'm thinking that I'll send my mother a card with this. But you can see they have different things on the back. And this is called Celebrations Paper Set. And again, there's 24 sheets. They're all double-sided. And you can see how pretty these are. Like, I really like this set. In fact, I like it so much that I ordered another one today because the papers are so pretty and they're just perfect for lining envelopes. And I, now I have uh, so many ideas to line envelopes. This idea I especially like. So uh, again, there are way more pieces to this envelope liner and I'll use another piece of the envelope liner on the third card I'm making. And I'm thinking about all the sentiments in this set. They're just wonderful fall sentiments. So I'm going to cut out that envelope liner and I want to cut out those leaf dies on the front of my envelope. I want to cut out the leaf shape from the front of my envelope but not the back of my envelope. So I'm tucking those inside and I'm doing that so that the cutting edge of the die, that raised edge of the die, is on the front side of the envelope. So I really have to tuck this in there and I'm just I'm putting it in there, turning it at an angle and I'm adding some washi tape to hold it in place. So I have that cutting edge along the front so now I'm going to go cut this in my die. So now I've got the envelope die cut and I've cut the envelope liner. So I'm just pulling those out and I'm going to save those two leaf pieces that I cut out because I think I'm going to actually put those on the inside of the card so that the card coordinates, the inside of the card coordinates with the envelope and it'll make the inside of my card more interesting. So I'm just removing the dies and now I'm going to put that paper in just like I did before and I want those dots to face the front so when 
you look at it from the front, you can see those yellow dots. And then I, again, this scores it. So I'm folding it along that score line. And I always fold the paper first and then the envelope top. And then I'm going to just use my adhesive. This is my all to new permanent adhesive. This is a nice tape runner. And then I'm going to close the envelope on top of it, just like that. So when you open it, you see these pretty flowers. And then on the front, you've got the fun dots. And it, I think that's a really pretty fall envelope. So now I'm going to add a little sentiment. And I like to actually do this with my MISTI in case I need to stamp it twice. So I'm pulling out my MISTI. And the sentiment is so grateful for you. I think that's a really nice sentiment for an envelope. And notice that I've put some of some really heavy washi tape. This is the glitter washi tape. This stuff is so much sturdier than my regular washi tape on those um, magnets. I really like it. And I made them super long. This is working out much better for me when they stick together, because I'm always forgetting and sticking them together. Um, I can actually really pull them apart because that stuff is strong, that glitter washi tape. I only needed to stamp that once. I used the Altenew Espresso dye ink. It's a dark brown, and I really like the way this is coming out. But as I'm looking at it, I feel like it needs something. So I've got my box again, and I'm actually putting those little leaves that I die cut out back in place to cover up the pattern paper. And now I've got the Altenew Antique Gold ink spray. These metallic sprays have a little ball inside them, and you really need to shake them up really well because that pigment really does settle. I'm just going to give this a couple of spritzes, and I'm really a good like 8 or 10 inches above this, and I don't want to cover the whole piece, but I just really like to have a little sparkle. Again, I'm cleaning that um, spray nozzle off with a um, baby wipe to keep it from clogging. And now I'm pulling those two leaf die cuts out. And I really like that they also got spritz because that's going to really coordinate when I put them inside the card. And that's going to complete this envelope. And I'm super happy with the way this turned out. I think it's a really pretty fall card. There's still room to put the address on. And now I've got my third one. I want to do a congratulations card, so I want to make a special envelope to go along with it. This one's for my daughter. And I've got Altenew's Kind Words stamp set. This stamp set really has some gorgeous sayings. Like you can see, they're like paragraphs. They're pretty perfect for sympathy, or if you have a friend who's going through a hard time, like this is a really wonderful stamp set. But it's also got a sentiment that says, I'm so proud of you. And look at all those stars. So I pull out the I'm so proud of you. And you can see I picked a piece of the pattern paper that I really liked. I've already die cut that with my envelope liner. But I want to cut out those stars on that back flap. So I'm just going to flip those over. And I don't have to worry about any other layers. I'm just centering it. And I'm putting it toward the top of the flap because I want that pattern paper to show through those. So I've die cut those little stars, and I'm going to save those little stars. I'll either use them for confetti inside the card, or I will use them, I'll attach them to the inside of the card. But I really like the way those little stars look out, like on that back flap. Again, I'm pulling out my MISTI. Now I want to do the stamping on the front of this card. So I'm going to put my magnets down to really hold this in place, and I'm putting those stars along the left-hand side. And I'm going to put the sentiment, I'm so proud of you, along the bottom. And I really want this to stand out. So I've got some Altenew Antique Silver Embossing Powder that I'm going to use. So I'm getting my coffee filter, my boss embossing powder ready. And I've got it all lined up. So I'm going to pull out my Versamark pad and my embossing buddy. And... I'm just going to run that embossing buddy along the envelope. And this is one of two different colors of blue. The other one's sort of like a lagoon blue. This one's really pretty. So I've got that inked up with the Versamark. 
And I like doing this in my Misty in case I need to do it a second time, but this came out beautifully. I don't need to do this again. And the Ulta New ink works really well for fine images, or not the ink, but the embossing powder. I mean, you can see every little tiny star here. It's so pretty. It's just a really fine embossing powder. And I love how this embosses. They have several different colors, but I, I just love the different colors the metallics that they have. So now I'm just going to heat set this. And look how pretty that looks. I just love how that looks. Now I'm going to put that that car, that pattern paper in. And I love that this is two-sided pattern paper because when she opens this envelope, she will see that really pretty paper on the inside. Um, and then the other side is going to show through those stars. And I'm going to be careful not to put adhesive where the stars are. So I'm just running it along the edges. And again, I fold the paper and then fold the envelope over the top. So this opens really beautifully. And I, I just love how this turned out. It's just really a fun car, a fun envelope. So now I have to make a card to go with it. And the dot of the exclamation point didn't quite come out, so I used a silver marker to touch that up. So then I've got the congratulations one that I did some die cutting and heat embossing. I've got my fall one. I did some die cutting and ink spritzing. And then my other one where I just did a lot of ink spritzing and added some um, puffy letters, sticky letters. So that's going to complete those three envelopes. Thanks for watching. Stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Give this video a like and share with your friends. I'll have links to the products below. Thanks for watching.